morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is June 16th. Uh, very quiet overnight session, especially for a Sunday night. Usually on Sunday nights, we get some bigger volume in there. Uh, guys are eager to get trading again, and we see more volume. Well, very light volume overnight. Not a lot of news to trade on. Um, guys are expecting to see crop conditions today for corn and beans, uh, both increase. Um, and trade's looking for anywhere steady to maybe two higher uh, for corn and beans. Last week, we were at 75% good excellent for corn, 74% good excellent for beans. So we'll see what those numbers look like this afternoon. Something else uh, this morning that will be out, uh, crush numbers. Nopus crush numbers will be out this morning at 11 o'clock. Usually we see the beans jump around at that time. Uh, but not a lot of movement here so far. Corn is up three-quarters of a cent for July, down a half a cent right now for uh, for December, uh, and then beans uh, were up five cents for July, November down a penny. So spreaders kind of taking control here over the overnight session. Wheat though up six and a half cents, finding a little bit of short covering there, uh, and getting a, a little bit of a bounce. Now we need to see if we can hold that bounce. A lot of times we've seen wheat; it'll start strong in the early part of the day, just not able to maintain that strength throughout the session, and we start seeing the market peel back again. So can we hold the strength today really is the question out of the wheat. Looking at weather, it's most ideal. We've got uh, warming up here the next couple days. It's been cooler temps. Uh, now we're talking uh, mid-80s, maybe even 90s in certain parts for the next few days, but followed right behind it, we're going to have some rain. Uh, and then back down to the, uh, the low 80s again. Six to 10-day forecast basically has everybody getting rain. Uh, with decent amounts and no one getting too much either. I mean, it's very, uh, you look at the weather, it's, it's exactly what we need right now. So, um, that's going to still be looked at as, as negative. So rallies probably will have some selling opportunities, uh, if we end up, uh, if we end up getting, uh, these, the rain events that, uh, that are advertised right now. Uh, looking at cattle, probably going to see more of a steady open. Um, but we had, uh, cash cattle finish last week at 148. Uh, so strong $3 higher. Uh, that's in Kansas and Texas. Uh, box beef, though, coming in a little bit better. Choice up 98, select up 12. Uh, but the thing, guys, I watched this morning, we saw a very strong move early last week uh, as the show lists uh, numbers came out. Guys are going to be watching that here out today. Uh, what are we looking at as far as the show list? So things to watch there. As far as the hogs, probably going to see us start off maybe a little bit Lower, uh, steady, a little negative, only because cutout value is down 177. We've been following that. Uh, but trade's going to be watching uh, a lot of the supply numbers from here on out. They're expecting uh, expectations could be anywhere from 15% below year ago levels. If we see these PED numbers hitting, um, that's really an if right now. We're seeing the heavier hogs showing up, production numbers uh, remaining roughly the same. Um, but continue to watch for that. That could end up being more friendly if we do see these numbers. We saw a nice run last week. Can we hold that again this week? Uh, watch the uh, watch the cash markets here for direction. As far as some of the other markets, stock market down 36 points. Gold right now up eight. Silver up seven cents. And you've got the dollar right now dropping back about four cents as well. So if you guys have any questions, call us. We're here for you. Reach us at 800 262 Seven five three eight, or check us out right on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow morning. Take care.